Alright, first step on our list is Pixels AI and I'm so sorry to all thumbnail designers out there, you guys are screwed big time. So Pixels AI is basically a next level AI thumbnail generator for YouTube and when I used Pixels AI for the first time I was totally blown away by the kind of results the AI was able to generate. I mean just look at it, all these are examples of thumbnails generated by the AI in a couple of seconds. So to get started all you gotta do is to give a simple prompt including the title and topic of the video and the AI will do the rest. And not just that, Pixels AI also come with other bunch of cool features like the ability to upload a picture of yourself and add in the thumbnail, create similar thumbnails by giving the link of an existing YouTube video, etc. And we also have a couple of features that are lined up to launch soon like the ability to sketch and turn it into a thumbnail, uploading real images and other objects to make a thumbnail out of it and adding textual elements that are so accurate. All in all, a cool AI tool for all content creators out there. Next up is Cursor AI. So GitHub Copilot is good, but Cursor AI is something straight up from the future. And it seems many programmers and SaaS founders can't live or think about coding without Cursor AI anymore. Alright, Cursor AI is basically an IDE built on top of Visual Studio Code. So if you have been using Visual Studio Code for coding, then you get all the good things about Visual Studio Code like the UI, the features and also support for all the extensions right out of the box. To get started, all you need to do is to spin up a new project and open it up in Cursor AI. Upon clicking Command L or Command K shortcut on a Mac or Control I or Control K shortcut on Windows, a small pop-up will appear on the screen. You can enter something you want Cursor AI to code and it will generate the code in no time. Furthermore, you can also chat with your code right within the cursor IDE and have it make changes or edit any part of it. And the best part is that for context, it will have all the code span across different files in its memory and generate code keeping them in mind. One of the features that I like the most in Cursor AI is that after completing a line of code, the AI will now predict and show the next line to edit that might be somewhere else in a different file. Features like this can be extremely useful in scenarios where you want to refactor the entire code base or you want to change a variable or function name and have it, you know, sort of search and replace it in every single occurrences within the entire, you know, project file. So that's about Cursor AI for this one. Third in our list is Flex1.ai. Now all these images that you see right now is generated using a free AI tool called Flex1 AI. I mean look at those images, it's unbelievable how realistic it looks and one cannot tell if it's AI generated or not. Up until now the biggest problem with all AI image generators out there was that it struggles really hard when it comes to generating a human subject and generating a human subject without an error is like almost impossible but Flex AI is here to change all that. I have gone through numerous examples of various images generated by Flex AI and I'm literally blown away by the results. To get started just visit the link in the description and click on the get started with Flex1 AI button. Simply enter a detailed prompt, select the image dimension and click the run button. The AI will now generate an image almost instantly that you can download right away. Yet another thing I noticed about Flex1.ai is how fast it is. So when compared with other image generator models like Midjourney or Dali, Flex1.ai is at least a couple times faster. So that's all for Flex1.ai. Next up in our list is Luma Labs Dream Machine. So Dream Machine is basically a video generator that can instantly generate a realistic looking video from a simple text or an image in a Jiffy. All of these are examples of videos generated by the free version of Dream Machine and oh god this looks so good. Open AI's aura is not open to the public yet and Dream Machine is right now the best realistic looking video generators out there. To get started open the link in the description and sign up for a free account. Once logged in you can either create a video from a simple text prompt or upload an image and turn it into a video as well. The last one in our list is Opus Clips. Let's say you have a talking head long form video or a podcast done and edited already. Now you can use Opus Clips to kind of repurpose the video and turn it into a couple of maybe 10 or 20 reels or short videos from that video directly in a single click. So as per their website their AI mode identifies the most compelling hooks, extract highlights from different parts of the video and rearranges them into cohesive viral short videos in no time. And the best part, pretty much everything is automated. All you gotta do is add the link to a video or upload a video and the AI will do the rest. Within a few minutes you will have multiple high quality videos that are ready to be uploaded as a TikTok, Instagram Reel or YouTube Shorts. Opus Clips also comes with a dedicated social media scheduler as well so you can go ahead and connect your Instagram or YouTube or TikTok account and have this Opus Clips AI directly post on your behalf as well. So everything is pretty much automated. So all you gotta do is give the AI a long form video and it will repurpose and make create short videos out of it and automatically post it to all your social media platforms instantly. So that's Opus Clips for that matter. So that's a wrap up and these are 5 AI tools that not a lot of people actually know and are relatively new. So I hope you found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and drop a comment and I'll see you in the next one.